Okay, second part of the session, uh, as I told you, will be grammar. So we have sections uh, one. We'll start sharing right now. Okay. Our first grammar lesson will be the emphatic do. The emphatic do. What is the emphatic do? طبعاً كلنا عارفين إن verb to do إحنا بنستخدمه في الجملة. لأغراض كتيرة جدا for certain reasons sometimes بنستخدمه as a main verb يعني فعل أساسي في الجملة sometimes I use it as an auxiliary verb يعني فعل مساعد بيساعدني أكون التنسز و sometimes I use it to make the negative هو بيساعدني علشان أنا أعمل النفي بتاع الجملة طيب what about the emphatic do هل ده استخدام من الاستخدامات اللي أنا قلتها لا خالص today I will tell you something new about verb do it's called the emphatic do emphatic do يعني do التأكيدية يعني أنا بأكد على بعمل emphasis على جملة معينة أو على statement معينة باستخدام do. Let's see how can we do that. Okay, so the emphatic do is commonly used دايما بستخدمها أو من بعض استخدامتها to add emphasis emphasis يعني تأكيد to an affirmative sentence على جملة مثبتة affirmative sentence like what it allows us to stress do does or did يعني أنا ممكن أستخدم do does or did علشان أأكد بيهم جملة معينة of course you know that do and does for the present tense did for the past tense what I use does with the third person singular he she and it does well, of course, if I use do, does, or did, they should be followed by a base form. يعني مش هاي استخدم did وحط بعدها الverb في past. No, let's have a look at that. First of all, لي أنا بستخدم do for emphasis to add weight to what we are saying عشان تضيف لي وزن للجملة نفسها أو ثقل للجملة نفسها. Okay, emphatic do plus the main verb. We do need to address these firewall issues ASAP as soon as possible. Okay, where is the verb here? Bravo Aliko, underline word need. Where is the verb? Need. ايه بقى الدو اللي احنا زودناها قبل الفيرب دي هي دي اللي انا بكلمكم عليها اللي اسمها emphatic do عشان تأكد ان ان we need to address these firewall issues as soon as possible اوكي طيب بستخدمها ازاي زي ما احنا شايفين انا عندي فيرب هنا simple present need طيب what do I have to add do, does, or did? Of course I have the verb simple present need 
and I have the pronoun we. So with all the pronouns except the third uh, singular uh, form, I use do, not does. Okay. Second example, I did follow the protocol as you instructed. طبعا إحنا شايفين إن الجملة هنا في the past as you instructed. زي ما أنت أمرت أو اديت التعليمات. I did follow. Have a look. Where is the verb follow? طب ليه أنا حطيت did هنا؟ جملة عندي في the past هي as you instructed. Okay, so أنا بستخدم do أو does أو did بعدهم ال verb في ال base form. I don't add the verb anything to the verb or I don't put the verb in the simple past or something like that. Base form, as you can see. I did follow the protocol as you instructed. Emphatic do used with the, an adverb such as really or absolutely. So I can add with do really or absolutely. Why? Let's see. When the conversation demands, demands هنا يعني needs, يعني لما تكون conversation محتاجة more emotion. Or when the person you are speaking to needs to be convinced, convinced يعني أنا لازم أقنع الشخص اللي قدامي. بستخدم إيه؟ Adverb كمان مع do. How? Let's have a look at the example. We absolutely do need to address these firewall issues ASAP. So, after the pronoun or a subject, I have absolutely adverb and I have do for emphasis and I have the verb need. So we absolutely do need to address these firewall issues as soon as possible. I really did follow the protocol as you instructed. This gives it more emphasis and it makes you to be more convinced and it gives you more emotions. Again, I can use it as uh, when I make questions from statements, as I call it question tag. If this is, I mean, like if you are familiar with a question tag, let's see how, okay? Why do we make the question tag or we make a question out of the statement uh, in case? We require confirmation, ta'kid. Or if we have doubt, or we doubt something, doubt the truth of something. يعني بنشك في حقيقة معينة. Or perhaps if we're not convinced, لو إحنا مش مقتنعين that something has done, has been done properly. إنه حاجة ما تمتش على الوجه الأمثل. Okay. هنا بستخدم ال question tag. How? Let's see. You did follow the protocol as I instructed. هنا عندي إيه الحالة دي? Confirmation. بأكد عليه. هل أنت فعلا did follow the protocol? Okay, I'm going to question tag today. How can I form it? Okay, have a look at the pronoun, first word, and did second word. I just used them. Of course, you know, when I have a question or when I make a question, I start with the helping verb did. So, of course, if this is affirmative, I make it negative. Didn't you? So, the statement is, you did follow 
The question tag is, didn't you? Why? For confirmation. Next. They do understand the seriousness of meeting this deadline. Don't they? Again, I'm doubting this, so I'm asking. They do understand the seriousness of meeting this deadline. So I have first two words, the pronoun and the verb do. They do. Again, question tag, don't they? So I start with the negative don't, and then I just add the pronoun they. She does seem, have a look at here, does. When do I use it? I use does with the third person singular, she, he, and it does. She does seem like the best team leader we've had. Confirmation again. Doesn't she? As I told you, I have it. Affirmative, so I change it into negative, doesn't, and then she. So, well, that's all about the emphatic do. So, let's answer some questions and see if we can do that correctly or not. Okay, we'll go to section one, the emphatic do, and we'll have a look at exercise one, and let's have a look at that. Okay, if possible, add an emphatic do, does, or did, were appropriate. So I need to add whether do, does, or did, were appropriate, if I can, okay? Well, هشوف ليها لازمة ولا لا الأول, okay? هل الجملة تستحق إن أنا أحط لها emphasis ولا لا? هل I need confirmation, convince people, do something like that, or no? Let's see. Well, I, space, you many times that this would happen. The network is not secure. So what do you think? I Shall I use it or not? Yes, of course, I'll use it. Well, I did tell you many times that this would happen. The network isn't secure. Of course, بين عندي هنا إن أنا أستخدم did إيش told ولا do ولا does لي لأنه many times معناها إنه حاجة وتكررت في الباست وحصلت في الباست يبقى هستخدم ال past form did tell أوكي okay? وطبعا دي حاجة محتاجة جدا إن أنا أستخدم معها ال emphatic to next question number two but I, it in my previous email, don't you remember? Huh? نفكر كده مع بعض استخدمها ولا لا وأني form. But I, it in my previous email, don't you remember? Yes, mention. I did mention زي الجملة اللي قبلها بالظبط I did tell و I did mention it يعني أنا ذكرت ده in my previous email في الإيميل اللي فات Don't you remember? Next question Question number three I Just after you had finished so maybe there is nothing we can do now. 
what is the probability? Do we use it or not? What do you think? I just after you had finished. بعد ما انت خلصت على طول. So maybe there is nothing we can do now. ما فيش حاجة نقدر نعملها. في emphatic, في emphasis هنا. What do you think? No. فيش أي emphasis. ما أقدرش أستريس على حاجة. I noticed just after you had finished. So maybe there is nothing we can do now. Bravo, Aliko. Next question four. She. What she's talking about? I'm sure she can help you. I'm sure she can help you. Huh? What do you think? استخدمها ولا واستخدمها في أي form. Yes. هنا عندي كلمة I'm sure. أنا متأكد. She can help you. هي هتساعدك. Okay. طبعا of course. استخدمها في simple present. وعندي she يعني does. She does know what she's talking about. I'm sure she can help you. Okay. Next. Question number five. This is more serious than you realize. I I should report it to the security team. Li anastardanta hina. This is more serious. This is more serious. يعني شيء مهم وخطير جدا. I do think I should report it to the security team. Yes, very good. Question number six. She. The guidelines for this training. Procedure. She the guidelines for the training procedures. إرأيكم دي استخدام ولا من هاش استخدام؟ جملة عادية جدا ما فيش فيها لا تأكيد ولا seriousness ولا أي حاجة خالص يبقى عادي جدا استخدم الverb بتاعي. She wrote the guidelines for the training procedures. Procedure. Okay. Exercise two. Decide if each sentence is emphatic or not emphatic. هنقرأ الجملة ونشوف هل الجملة دي emphatic ولا مش emphatic. نعرف منين؟ هنشوف مستخدمين فيها verb do. ومعاه المين فيرب في الجملة ولا مستخدمين فيرب دو بس في الجملة مفيش معها أي فيرب تاني لو مستخدمينها هي لوحدها فيرب دو في الجملة مفيش معها أي فيرب تاني يبقى ده أكيد مش إنفاتك يبقى هي كده المين فيرب بتاع الجملة الفيرب الرئيسي أو لو أنا مش مستخدمها خالص في الجملة وعندي فيرب تاني خالص يبقى ما في يبقى ده مش مش إنفاتك Okay, دلوقتي هنقرأ الجملة We'll read the statement or the sentence and decide whether it's emphatic or not emphatic. Are you ready? ها جاهزين ولا لسه؟ نبدأ؟ Okay, تمام. So, question number one. I do think she handled it really well. What do you think? هنا في في الجملة do ولا ما فيش؟ في main verb ولا لا؟ Let's have a look. Let's read the sentence again. I do think she handled it really well. ها؟ سمع نسبة جواب صح. Emphatic or not emphatic؟ طبعا برافو عليكم. طبعا emphatic. عندي do think. Think is the main verb اهو قدامي. وقبل دو جاية بشكل ايه؟ 
emphatic يعني تأكيدي next question number two however it does need reporting to the security team as soon as possible however it does need reporting to the security team as soon as possible what do you think is it emphatic or not emphatic عارفه ان كلكم شاطرين وجاوبتوها صح طبعا emphatic عندي هنا it does need main verb need وعندي does علشان البرونون بتاعي it third person singular okay very good question number three question number three says she does most of the organization for each training session uh, she does most of the organization for each training session what do you think شاطرين بس اللي هيعرفوا الجملة دي emphatic or not emphatic مين شاطر يعرف يجاوب اللي واخد باله من الشرح أيوه برافو برافو of course of course not emphatic ليه؟ have a look at the verb where is the verb does كلمة does هنا في بعدها verb تاني؟ no she does most of the organization most of the organization ده مش verb okay object اللي جاي بعدها so does هنا جاي main verb يبقى طبعا ما عنديش هنا emphatic do هي مستخدمة هنا الفعل الأساسي للجملة برافو عليكم question 4 you do have the experience to deal with this don't you? Huh? What do you think? فاكرين آخر نوع من أنواع ال ال emphatic do لتكلمنا عنها. You do have the experience to deal with this, don't you? Shatrin Bravo. Of course, emphatic. I have do have and the question tag at the end, don't you? So I have it emphatic. Question number five. They don't appreciate having to start these tests on Friday afternoons. They don't appreciate. What do you think? عارفة إن في ناس هتتلخبط هنا. وعارفة إن في ناس هتقولي دي طبعا emphatic ما انا عندي do وعندي appreciate يعني ده الفيرب هو تبقى كده خلاص تمام بس انا هاجي اقول لكم ايه no 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 wrong this is not emphatic لان do هنا جاية في محل ايه نفي negative بتنفي الفيرب appreciate فما فيش مجال هنا للانفاسس خالص اوكي ناخد بالنا Question number five and number six. He doesn't seem to be aware of the gravity of this mistake. He doesn't seem to be aware of. What do you think? Again, it's not emphatic. The no doesn't negative. Okay. So this is section one, grammar, the emphatic do. Let's move to the second grammar lesson. And this is a very interesting one, which is about the de dependent prepositions. Dependent prepositions. Okay. Well, dependent prepositions Okay, let's have a look at this Dependent prepositions I will talk about What do you think? Prepositions 
prepositions. Do you know what's the meaning of prepositions? Yes, I know that. Some of you know that. Prepositions like this. Yes. Yes, you know some of them. And we have more and more lists of prepositions. Like what? After, across, above, between, besides, from, against, through, as, over, under, among, for, around, during, behind, below, beneath, into, off, all, ward. Upon, with, within, without, and the list goes on. I have a lot of these. These are called prepositions. Okay, prepositions. هي الحروف الجر اللي إحنا بنقولها عندنا. وفي عندي حروف للمكان وللزمان. وبتستخدم استخدامات كتيرة جدا. بس مش هو ده اللي هنتكلم عليه النهاردة احنا هنتكلم على حاجة اسمها dependent preposition dependent preposition what are the dependent prepositions these are prepositions which always go after certain verbs nouns or adjectives they mean بتيجي attached أو بتيجي بعد certain verbs أفعال معينة nouns أسماء or adjectives صفات طيب ليها قاعدة ليها رول معينة نمشي عليها لا إحنا بنتعلمها as much as we practice we we'll learn them لأن هم كتير جدا وإحنا نعرف منهم بعض أو بعض الكلمات لما تشوفوها دلوقتي هتتعرفوا عليها وإحنا ليه بنقول عليهم dependent prepositions لأنه because they depend on the verb that comes before them or they depend on the noun that they come nouns that come before them or adjectives and so on let's see some of them Okay, when I say you need to listen to all the instructions carefully, you need to listen to. Where is the verb? Listen. Can I, where is the dependent preposition? To. Can I say you need to listen all the instructions without to? No, that's wrong. I cannot say that. So, these prepositions depend on the verb or the noun or the adjective that come before. Okay, so lesson two means is that you have to listen to the instructions. Listen to the instructions. أو الأوامر carefully. Okay? Next. They seem incapable of reacting promptly. Incapable. They seem incapable of. Okay. I have the word incapable. لا يستطيع ليس لديه القدرة على incapable of reacting let's look at some more my laptop and android device both rely on what's the meaning of rely on it means depend on. 
rely on means depend on يعتمد على the same router and rely is a verb okay followed by the preposition on on is a dependent preposition because it depends on the verb rely next example the diagnosis showed that the network failure had a massive impact on productivity diagnosis at tashkhis zahar lina e eno network failure انه فشل النتورك او سقوطها او عدم ادائها بشكل جيد had a massive impact تاثير كتير سيء على البرودكتيفيتي انتاجيه اوكي سو ذا وورد امباكت هير از ا ناون اوكي فولود باي ذا ديبندنت بريبوزيشن اون امباكت اون تاثير نيكست The constant increase in. طبعا في ناس كتير عارفة يعني increase. كلمة increase is the opposite عكس كلمة decrease. Increase. Up. زيادة. Decrease. Okay. إلا أو يقلل. Okay. Increase in. دايما بتيجي معها increase in. Okay. The constant increase in cyber attacks means the vital role the, of the firewall plays in network security grows in parallel. Okay. Of course, now I'm going to increase. In, in is the dependent preposition. I'm going to increase. Okay, here now, listen. The increase. طبعا أنا ممكن أستخدمها noun ممكن أستخدمها verb but here it is a noun لي لأن عندي constant increase in cyber attacks means يبقى فين الverb means okay برافو عليكم okay so this is the second grammar lesson let's practice Okay, so this is section dependent prepositions, section three dependent prepositions, exercise one. Okay, so what do we have to do in this exercise? I'll just tell you right now. Read each sentence and select the dependent preposition. Okay, I will read the sentence and you have to check the sentence. Try to find if there is a dependent preposition or not and tell me what is the dependent preposition. Question number one. The strength of the firewall has been vital since... The recent increase in cyber attacks. أنا لسه قايلة من شوية. What do you think? ها؟ أه؟ نفكر كويس. أنا سامعة ناس بتقولها. برافو عليكو. In. برافو. Increase in. Increase in cyber attacks. Very good. Question number two. This process mainly consists of dragging and dropping the files. Dragging and dropping, dragging, سحب الملفات and dropping it in this folder when you're ready. The process mainly consists of 
dragging and dropping this file the files in this folder when you're ready ها زي ما انا سالت صح واحنا عارفينها وبنسمعها كتير جدا برافو عليكو off consists of يتكون من question number three Don't worry about remembering every detail at the start. Again, don't worry about remembering every detail at the start. What do you think? Yes, bravo. About, worry about. Worry is a verb. And it takes the dependent preposition worry about. Let Don't worry about. Question number four. You will be on a team mainly responsible for protecting the network. Tani, again. You will be on a team mainly responsible for protecting the network. Huh. What do you think? Where is the dependent preposition here? What do you think of the word responsible for? Yes, bravo aleikum. Mas'ool an, responsible for. Daiman bigu ma'ba. Responsible for. Okay. Next question number five. Our sincerest thanks. يعني تهنينا القلبية يعني شكرنا الحار جدا to everyone who protected us from this threat. Who protected? يعني اللي حفظنا من الإيه من الثرت ده. Huh? What do you think? أيوة برافو عليكو. طبعا تو غلط هتبقى الإجابة الصحيحة إيه? From شاطرين. Protect from protected from. Very good. Question six, the network users commented on the professionalism of the whole team. What do you think? The network users commented on the professionalism of the whole team. Yes, very good. Commented on. Verb followed by dependent preposition. Exercise two. Select the correct preposition to complete each sentence. Now we are going to select the preposition. خلينا نشوف الذاكرة بتاعتكم ونشوف إحنا شوفنا الكلمات دي قبل كده ولا لا. Question number one. We depend the firewall more and more these days. What do you think? And I will take here in order. Depend a tachot preposition. Huh? Mean faker. We depend. Bravo. On. Depend on. Yatamid ala. Next. Question two. The increase. No. Productivity has to be acknowledged. Huh? Mean factor increase. Tehut. Bravo. Bravo. The increase in productivity has to be acknowledged. Next. The advantages. كلمة advantages. I know إن في ناس ممكن ما تعرفهاش هنا. كلمة advantages يعني مزايا. Aksaha disadvantages. Ayub. 
So the advantages hmm, working this way are obvious to most people. Obvious, يعني واضح أو clear to most people. لمعظم الناس. So the advantages bravo off advantages off. طبعا advantages هنا noun. Okay, advantages of. Question four. We apologize. We apologize. Not giving your concerns more considerations. Okay, apologize. يعني اعتذر. بتاخد preposition a. Huh? مين عارفها? We apologize. أيوة نسمع حد بيقولها صح. Bravo. We apologize for not giving your concerns more consideration. ما ديتش لاهتماماتك أو اللي أنت قلته اهتمام أكتر من كده. Question number five. Affording. Their analysis, productivity is down further than they expected. أكتر من اللي توقعوا. According, ah, مين يقولها? According, yes, excellent. According to, وفقاً لي. According to their analysis, وفقاً للتحليل اللي هم عملوه. Okay, according to question six, nobody has responded my complaint about these decisions. So nobody has responded. Excellent. To respond to you, yes, Tagib Lee. Respond to. Well, that's all for today. And I hope you enjoyed module two and you learned grammar, vocabulary, vocabulary and the listening. I hope that you do play the recording as many times as you can so that you get all the points you missed or you just to revise once twice or as much as you can well, i hope to meet you again in module three thank you so much meet with you next time